is working for a local daily in Kenya during the 2007 post-election violence. Boniface Mwangi witnessed and photographed Kenyan killing, lynching and maiming each other over political powers. The photographs won him several awards and spurred him into activism, speaking truth to power, challenging corruption and greed in high places that made him famous and landed him in jail several times. And while his activism has spurred change, Mwangi is now running to be a member of parliament during Kenya's August the 8th polls in what he says is to advocate for change from within. While Sarah Kimani spent time with the man who once took bloody pigs to the Kenyan parliament and led tens of youth in burning caskets outside parliament to protest against MPs' high salaries. On a Tuesday afternoon, 34-year-old Boniface Mwangi weaves through the dusty crowded alleys in Gara in Nairobi. Mwangi is on a mission to reach every man, woman and young person in this constituency and convince them to vote for him. <laughs> Nothing unusual about that, but the man seeking their vote is in an unusual territory. I haven't done anything! I haven't done anything! I haven't done anything! Mwangi has since 2008 used creative, aggressive methods to rally Kenyans to protest against corruption, wastage of public resources, and most recently he bravely led school children and their parents against a top Kenyan politician who grabbed their land to extend his hotel space. Now he's vying to be a member of parliament for Starehe constituency and push for change from within. I'm running because I'm tired of bad leadership. I'm running because I'm tired of... Um, uh, a leadership that is not responsive to the people's needs. I'm, t I'm tired of neglect, I'm tired of police harassment, I'm tired of everything. So, and the only way you can solve some of these things is being in parliament, because in parliament you legislate, you write laws that are favor the people. Here in the informal sector where millions work, Kenyans tired of police harassment, corruption and lack of proper representation in parliament are paying attention to Mwangi as he sells his vision to them. For a country whose politics is dominated by money, name calling and ethnicity, Bonfas Mwangi's politics is different. He is yet to hold a public rally, common in Kenya during the electoral period. He has a team of youth volunteers who walk around with a mobile speaker which belts out songs about Mwangi's courage and heroism. I want to engage the voters. I want them to be able to ask me questions. Why are you buying? What is your motivation? What is your manifesto? What are you going to do? That's, what, that's my style of doing things. I want to be their voice. And you can't be a people's voice when you speak from the podium. You have to go to where they are. His method is not attracting huge crowds, but it is winning minds. Just what he has campaigned for all his life. I say we vote for him. If he's able to do all this and he's not a representative of the people, what if we send him to parliament? I have closed my, my workshop for three months and that's where I get my daily bread. Only to campaign for Bonfast Mwangi because I know the things he has done. Bonfast Mwangi can win, win, win. Looking back, his years of activism and protests are paying off. On Monday, Kenya's Salaries and Remuneration Commission announced that it was slashing salaries of members of parliament, a protest issue that has seen Mwangi locked up several times. I think that's not enough. It needs to be 50%. We need to cut salaries of members of parliament so that you get only serious people going to parliament. Mwangi's main opponents are also popular in their own right. A top Kenyan musician is running on the ruling coalition's ticket and a young flashy billionaire is seeking the vote on the main opposition party's ticket. Mwangi raised money for his campaign through donations. The son of a single mother who hoped on these same streets that is now seeking votes. Mwangi says he is the best representative of the people. Can you win? Can I win? I'm going to win. Let's move to the next member of parliament for Starehe. He has formed his own political party, Ukweli Party, Swahili for the Truth. And he says he will not be supporting any of the two front runners for the presidency, neither Uhuru Kenyatta nor his main rival Raila Odinga, the main opposition candidate. It is a tough race for Mwangi, but for a man who likes to call himself hashtag Team Courage, the finish line will likely deliver change for his people. Sarah Kimani, SBC News, Kenya.